طبعا بشكر الدكتور نبيل على التنظيم الجميل وعلى ال very rich conference هو العنوان بصراحة obligated to ad hoc ويمكن ده كان كان في صبح discussion طويل قوي على امتى ممكن نبقى obligated لل ad hoc طبعا احنا كلنا عارفين ان ال CTO intervention 99% من الوقت ما ينفعش يبقى ad hoc intervention انما في بعض الاحيان زي ما هنشوف دلوقتي you are obligated to do that والمفروض صراحه ان المحاضره ديت كانت تبقى بعد الكيس برزنتيشن ده كان يبقى بعد محاضره الدكتور طارق عن الاي دي ار بس احنا واحنا ماشيين هنشرح شويه. طيب Uh, our patient is a 47 years old male heavy smoker, uh, positive to the family history of ischemic heart disease. Uh, he is presenting with lateral ST elevation myocardial infarction with chest pain onset three hours before cath lab presentation. He had an acute Croix syndrome three years before presentation, managed conservatively with medications. Thereafter, chronic stable ischemic heart disease with CCS2 with non-compliance to medical treatment. So, we started to do the coronary angiography as a STEMI case after activation of STEMI code. And this was the first angiography. You can appreciate the totally occluded proximal LAD, which appears as a thrombotic occlusion. This is the spider view. You can see the approximately totally occluded left anterior descending artery. And this is the right coronary. And here you can appreciate the well collateralized left anterior descending artery. Okay, so I thought it's a totally occluded thrombotic LED and I used my workhorse wire, the Scion Blue. L lateral ST elevation myocardial infarction, just lateral ST elevation myocardial infarction. Uh, we will see why. It's well collateralized LED. So uh, we used the cyan blue, and the cyan blue went very easily to the diagonal. And then I tried to probe the LED with a pilot 50 without any advancement, as we see here. OK. And then, so it's a CTO LED with acute thrombotic occlusion just proximal to the CTO and bifurcating with a subtotally occluded large D1. The JCTO score is 1. Here we can appreciate after we uh, pass the wire to the diagonal that we have a CTO LED of around 20 millimeters uh, length, filling retrogradely from the septals, well collateralized, and at the bifurcation with large D1. So, here I was obligated to do an ad hoc CTO intervention because the patient has a totally occluded uh, lateral elevation myocardial infarction, and to stent this diagonal, I have to stent the LAD. I cannot do that to the diagonal and close the way to the LAD for the ad hoc for the CTO intervention after that. diagonal setting of lateral stenting across the distance and the CTO intervention not prepared to be tackled in the acute setting. I mean, if any problem with the LED, when you have a vulnerable myocardial or any other vessel, that can be risk the patient's life. But 
فما فيش مشكله ان احنا نستنت بس ايزي لو ده هيصعب علينا ريتو جيت انترفينشن او اذر انترفينشن انذر تايم بس طالما انت عندك ويل كولاترالايز ال اي دي مش هيبقى في مشكله عشان بس انا يعني ده رايي Lateral infarction or anterior infarction? Lateral ST elevation mechanical infarction. The patient had acute chronic syndrome three years before, conservatively managed in a Gulf country, and then I don't know what what type of acute chronic syndrome. No. No. So what type of chronic syndrome? No. Okay. But the fact, Alex. Yes. 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 Yes
سيبي له وير حط وير تاني في البقالة دي خد منها مش هيفكر كده هو هو فتح ال لا في دايجونال تاني يا دكتور صبحي هنشوفه فوق اه بس هو هو ال 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 الدايجونال فتح بالواير من غير ما اعمل له بي تي سي اي اوكي فانا لا فريش ترامبس اه فريش ترامبس فانا خفت ان انا اعمل بي تي سي اي طبعا فلاك موديفيكيشن صح بس انا اي فيل ذات اي مي لوز ذا ال اي دي ويز ذا ويز ذا ترامبس يس سو ذن وي تشيك ان ذا لاترال فيو اند ات واز ذير ان ذا ترو هيومن Then we yeah. <laughs> 2 a.m. at 2 a.m. This was done at 2 a.m. And then we uh, advanced the Crosshair Pro. Time, please. One minute. <laughs> okay. And then we exchanged the guy a third, who is again the workhorse wire, the cyan blue. Successive ballooning with 1.5, and then two. And then this is the after uh, ballooning. We have our, yes, it's, it's a very, oh, yes, yes. So now we have this. So we uh, adopted the VK crush technique. For the LID diagonal, we started the distal stent. Inverted provisional. Diagonal. Inverted provisional. Yes. We are going to make the first stent from the left to the diagonal. We are going to take the stent from the left to the diagonal. We are going to take the stent from the left to the diagonal. We are going to take the stent from the left to the diagonal. We are going to take the stent from the left to the diagonal. We are going to take the stent from the left to the diagonal. We are going to take the stent from the left to the diagonal. We are going to take the stent نتكلم على فكره احنا ممكن نعمل زي بس احنا دلوقتي قاعدين حاطين ازاي على الكرسي بنفرد بس لو جالك حاجه تاني تقول اه ده انا شفتها وبيقولوا كذا فممكن تاخد الثقه فيها And this is the first crush the decrossing First kiss. Okay, placing the stent in the proximal LED. Okay, the second crush. One minute, please. This is the pot. We crossing the second time, second kiss, and now it's, uh, it's not advancing the uh, red. Okay, this is after we did the, the last pot, and this is the end result with uh, a LED diagonal. Dicky crush intervention giving this uh, result. So the key messages is that sometimes you may be obligated to ad hoc your CTO intervention. Uh, a very important thing that I prefer to do this, don't forget a good supporting guiding catheter with a PCA wire in your donor vessel. Here we used Amplus left one with a PCA wire in the right coronary. The key points for a successful anti-grade dissection re-entry, this case is uh, uh, considered a last case, limited anti-grade sub tracking. So the key points for a successful uh, anti-grade dissection re-entry is that once you clab the approximately, please don't inject anti-gradely because you are going to expand your hematoma. Uh, watch your wire in the false lumen and think about the angle and the level of re-entry more than you move and manipulate please watch and think more than you manipulate minimal manipulation for the wire shorten the true false true distance as much as you can thank you